Amen. A round of applause to our Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. Shima, yes. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You may take your seats in the presence of God. Yeah. It's still the presence of heaven is felt in this place. The presence of heaven is felt in this place. The presence of heaven is felt in this place. In this evening, as we close our revival meetings, I believe that even what you had left is going to fall off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The chains that were left, they will be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will shake and tremble. He will tremble. He will tremble. It has been very unfortunate for the devil this week. And may it always be unfortunate for him. He made us wail for a long time. He made us weep for a long time. We will trample over his head today. Utakanyaga shetani leo ah, ah, Utakanyaga magonjwa leo ah, ah, Kwa uwezo ye 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 Kwa ushidi wa mungu baba ah, Kwa uwezo ye 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 Kwa ushidi wa mungu baba ah, You have gotten used to dancing. <laughs> I want you to remember when you first joined Zion Temple and you found this place to be very loud and very noisy. Do you remember the first day you came? I wish they could reduce the noise. They teach well, but they are very loud. Now you are dancing <laughs> with us all. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Bonero no kubira wato suyu munsi mumvi shuru saku mi hanga. Let me tell our guests who have come here for the first time and they have been greeted by the noise. Please bear <laughs> with us. I know that the noise has become too much for you. There are things that are being moved in our lives, you know. 
Wewe nubzangi wivin. Hari 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 chuo bi mabiku kore da. Hari bi nubiri mabiti tanya. This noise, this noise is breaking chains. This noise is doing something in our lives. Jericho had sins when urusaku. Jericho fell because of noise. On the seventh day, they made a louder noise than this one. Hey! Hallelujah! Don't be careless. To the very Zaburi Jana mi onguita ni vuka guti. Psalms 150. What does it say? Akira, akira. Eh? Gawa du so mene vuwa vuba tukumv. Haguru kama haguru haguru kana u so ma yicho yuko ufute bibiri. Eh? Ivuka gute? Iravuga ngo. Ngwe ino hano. Eh, ngwe ino hano, ngwe ino hano. Zaburi jana mi onguita. Dagi ngo nduri shegato ya abunvo kuturi murusaku. I want to bring some calm. Bibiri ya muri zaburi jana mi onguita. Ravuka gute? Zaburi jana mi onguita. Iravuga ngo. Ni musingi zima ana ngoro ya yo. Uta fite uta vibring. Vibre. Ah, we will never fit to rusaku ruki. Okay. Zawiri shala mwengtani ya fuga ngo. Ni musingi zimana mungoro ya ayu. Amen. Turi he he. Mungoro ima. Ah, turi mu he. Mungoro ima. Ok. Kotura singi za kome za. Mungi zururi ya ayu ni musingi ze kukwari yonyiribu shobozi. Ni yonyiribu shobozi. Mungi zururi na unoko. Ni musingi ze kuberi bjoya koze wikome. Ni musingi ze kuberi buhanga njebu gayo buhamba. Mungi hanga ni gato. Eh? Ni muisingi ze mufuza makondera. Mufuziki. Ehe. Ni muisingi ze muchurangi nanga. Bagira gute. Bachurangi nanga. Ehe. Ni muisingi ze mufuzi shakwe. Ni shakwe. Nargyo. Ehe. Kandi mufzina. Mugira gute. Mufzina. Aha. Ugorusaku wa ihanganu rabzu mfatu. Ehe. Ni muisingi ze muchurangi mirja. Muchurangi. Ni mironje. Ehe. Ibi bizo sebire mewe nu nubwo uvuga ngo turasakuza ibi biremewe nyamara komeza ni muyisingize mucura muvuza ibyuma birangira ibyuma bi Hey Uwe ni gitwaza ninde ni zaburi yishana na 100 ingahe na 105 yahereye ku ya mbere ivuga kwije na 105 ishize akadomo ni uhirangirira komeza ibi fitu buzima byose Hallelujah! Hey! Aha! Uva! Garuka kuyisha na mirongo ni chenda yoni bindi. Okay. One forty-nine. Zaburi jana mirongo ni chenda yavo. Zaburi jana mirongo ni chenda. There are things that have bound us for long that need a noise to fall off. It struck us silently, but we will strike it loudly. He came slowly and stole your child. Came back, stole your health. It came in silence. We will send it hey, hallelujah. a shout. Sing to the Lord a new song. Yeah. Ni mumu singi ni zemu iko ya ni rodi inda hemu kazi. Inda hemu tu inda hemu kerega. Ni mumu singi zemu ni ritera ni rodi inda hemu. Ufte bibi ya jamuri man. Nasha kavi bibi ya yera. Nasha kishi jenga. Ah bi guino ham. Sesa. Na na ni mumu mvatu dahu. Ah na na wariko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, zanye za bibili ya. Za hujwe na madini yos. Yeah. Kwa gira gezibi nukubishi la mu. Ah. Muyishimi she. Ishbiri gimpanda. Muyishimi she neberu ni nanga. Muyishimi she shako ni mzinu. 
muyishimisha ifite imirya n'imyirongi muyishimisha ibyuma bivuza amajwi mato muyishimisha ibyuma bivuza amajwi birenga leo atasiki Satan it kwa mugize ikintu yumva na wakome leo atasikia okay ngaweja rero kwija na 209 muri bibilia yera apana bibilia yego nayo niyo eh mutagira ngo ariko iyo ngiyo yabaye mu amasansire menshi kuko yasobanuwe na 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 ikimenizime amadini yose mu Rwanda yuri hamwe agerageza kumvikana ururimi bamwe bavuga ati cira waka ariko iyi Iyi ni King James King James na bahibu ni 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 virigate virigate ni 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 iva mu gihe burayo iyi ngi iyi iyi mubona iyi vuga ngo iyi ngawe vuga ngo 199 twumva ka dusome muri zawuri 199 duhere ku murongo wa mbere wa mbere hallelujah batangira nyiki hallelujah iyo yawe yatangira nyiki eh ayo wavuze Muririmbire uwiteka indirimbo nsha muririmbire uwiteka indirimbo nsha muririmbire ishimwe rye mwiteraniro ry'abakunzi be mwiteraniro ry'abakunzi be muri abakunzi b'Imana hey muririmbire uwiteka murumva yo mavocabulaire hey ubwoko bwa Israheli unezererwe muri ngo bw'abanyarwanda subira mu ngo bw'abanya ahari Israheli uzukira Rwanda cyangwa ya Afrika eh na ubyike eh Ubwo ko bw'abanyarwanda unezererwe umurimyi wabwo Amen Abana bisiyoni bishimye aho ngaho yaho aho Haleluya Haleluya Amen Abana bahe hasubye Abana bisiyoni bishimira umwami wabwo Ni mwishimira umwami wanyu Haleluya Amen Yeah Bashimishe izina rye imbyino imbyi aha iki imbyino hari giye umuntu aza mu rusengero abona aza ngo ariko se ngo buri yakwera ibi ngo ariko se bari igisha rya ari ko ibi bintu nje bindambiye mu itorero ry'Imana muri kiriziya y'Imana haba mu imbyino nuko abantu babigize igisirimu abandi bashaka ku we should dance in the house of God. In the congregation of the saints, there is praise and dance. Can you enjoy without dancing? Why do the people in the world enjoy more than we do? Yet they do not have our God. They dance, they dance until they sweat. But when we come to church, we don't move as if we're epileptic, but you will get your healing tonight. Bashimishe Batambira ishako batengirira inanga. Eh eh, ibyo byose. Kuko uwiteka anezererwa abantu be. Mhm. Mm Azaririmbisha abanyamubabaro agakiza. Eh, nabanyamura babaro bagomba kugira gute kuririmba. Ya, apana ku mfite ibibazo byaranyishe byakwishe ririmba uyu mugoroba nawe nabandi wishi. Hey! If you Amen. have problems, sing this evening. Abakunzi be bishimi le ichuwa ira bahai. Nimuishi mi ichuwa ira bahai ya tu kuye mumgobo ya tu kuye mumazi. Yeah, Hallelujah. Amen. Baridi mbishwe nibji shimo. Yego. Baridi mbire kumariri yao. Aha ni onchaka kuwabgerare. Aho, aho. Unvare. Nuta. Ibzu kuye andi biguma. Ubita hane. Kuburiri bwawe ngukomezanye kuburiri bwawe yes utagera kuburira ngo utangire kwibaza ngo je tuzarya iki nabyo kurya no kubyama kuburiri bwawe komeza ubyine ye haleluya amen ndayamba abwira ikintu gikomeye hano komeza murongo wa gatandatu ishimwe 
ryo gusingiza imana ribe mu mihogo yabo ribe he mu mihogo yabo ah ah abandi bahabonye ribe he mu mihogo yabo ndaza kubabwirikiza kuva mu muhogo nyuma rero ni bibiri babwire ngo bive he where should the praise come from? Not in the nose, but in the mouth. It's okay. It's okay. From the mouth. Hanyuma. Ni ingota ibe muno kizao. Ingota. Iyo tangi kuramni mana. Ingota iza muno kiao. When you start to praise, a two-edged sword will come in your hand. Ingota yego hore shama hanga, nogo hanisha amu okubi hano. Ah 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 ah, subiram subiram. Mungo kwenye ngo mungo yego hore shama hanga. Ah ah, subira kuri yango ta. Okay. Ni ingo ta ibe muno kizao, yego hore shama hanga. Ingo ta ibe muno kizao. The two-edged sword will be in their hand. Ubunda hiwa chu. A handi wabgo ngo ingo ta tiariye. A two-edged sword. Yes, two. Two edged sword. Sword. And a knife. Does the knife have a two edged? Yeah, I you to butter. We're talking about a two-edged sword. Every day, Satan will be operated by that sword. When your mouth, your throat, they call it the mouth. Uh, yes. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Mm -hmm. and, and a two-edged sword in their hand. Oh, the mouth, okay. In Hebrew, they use a sword. When you start to pray, you I'm leading you in praise because this is a psalm of praise as we prepare for battle. We have been reading Joshua 9. We'll go to Joshua 10 and understand what happened in Gibeon. Okay, Komeza. Kumurango waga tanda tu. Uvugeo. Ishimwe. Ishimwe. Yogu singi zimana. Ribe mu mihogo yabo. Yego. Ni ingota. Ibe muno kizabo. Yogu horesha ama hanga. Ama daimo. Nogu hanesha mo kibi hanga. Abo bo ose. Waka wohesha. Aba miba yo imi nyururu. Hanyuma. Muru wa unganyu. We will bind their kings with chains. This is an evening of vengeance. We will revenge. We revenge revenge tonight. This is an evening of vengeance for the years that have been wasted. We will bind the nobles with fetters of iron. There will be a reward for everyone. The honor of the saints is to bind their enemies. Yes. Okay, Charlie. What was the charge? Omwe warufte bibiri ya isoba notoka toa. Na hizo mama internet ina kumfiyas. Muna Google na kuzango bibi kinyarwanda agaita haziri. Muna muba na mudebe B S Y B B. Bibiri ya yes. Urachaka kui 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 subira ho. Waibo ni. Malereze munga nyora gie. Okay. Na 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 akundi. Come and I pray for you. Photo. Who fit the movie answer? Oh yeah. Okay. 
Urai tumu bono bunyi. Are you in a relationship? You will get engaged right away. Mwizi na rja yesu muhungu nyiriwe na humuke. In the name of Jesus, may the right young man see her right now. And those who do not belong to you be blind. Yours receive sight in the name of Jesus. Dore mukobwa mwiza, très intelligente, uzi gusobanura mwagiye beneda. Very beautiful, very intelligent who can interpret excellently and the brothers cannot see her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We are covering her in security in the blood of Jesus. That she will build a great marriage. That she will have good children. Have sons and daughters. That God will open doors of blessings upon her. That her husband will be good on the outside and in the heart. And that he will have money. And that she will have money. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'll come to attend your wedding. Even if I'll be abroad, I'll come to your wedding. We will attend your wedding. Listen. <laughs> Stop your jealousy. God can read you. Stop being jealous. You have come to receive your blessing and now you're being jealous. Receive your own blessings. People, people, people. Jesus, you are wonderful. You bear with me. Okay. 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 Jesus is bringing sons and daughters in law. He is giving you children. Wahora ki bere yawe Nusu ye amari Garuse Garuse ngushi Wawe isoni Wawe wangu ya isoni Umbise Umbise guse nga kwaje Ujihe kikwi Wamaye Wamaye chona sate Wawe 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 wangu ya misoni Mungisai Mungisai kusenga kwaje Mungisai Mungisai Wamaye Wamaye
God bless you, Ezra. Thank you. Jesus is a masterful worker. Seasons change, but he doesn't change. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Joshua. We're going to chapter 10. Hmm. 
I see him working because of the love he has for us. Jesus loves people deeply. God loves people deeply in a special way. So the things that God will do for us are not equal to what we do for him. We do contrary, but he does good to us because of the love he has for us. Let's read Joshua 10 verse 1. Joshua 10 verse 1. Adoni sedeki umami we Jerusalem. Yumvise uko Yosua ya tinze ai. Aka herimbura gos. Kan uko ya gize kuri ai. Numami wa. Nguko ya gize ieriko numami wa. Kandi uko wa gibeon. Ba sezera nya mahoro na bisreiri. Ba kabana nabo. Ahera kwa ratinya cha. Now it came to pass when Adonai, the dek, king of Jerusalem, heard how Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it as he had done to Jericho and its king. So he had done to Ai and its king and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them that they feared greatly. <laughs> Nguko inde mboza wa mizimera. Ndete haru taga kuri ai. Naba gabo wa hobos bari inti kwa ai. Aba gabo wa gibeo ni bari iki. Bari aliko bati nye kurguwari. Baza gukori ki isezeran. That they feared greatly because Gideon was a great city, like one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than I, and all its men were mighty. Nicho chatu mie Adoni Sedeki Umami wi Yerusalemu Nicho gi Yerusalemu hitu wa gibu yebusi Atu makuri hohamu Umami wi Hebron No kuri piramu Umami wi Yeramuti No kuri Yafia Umami wi Lakish No kuri Debira Umami wi kuri Eguloni Ati Yatu mie abame wangai Bane Na waka angai Wagata Therefore, Adon Zedek, king of Jerusalem, it was known as the land of the Jebusites, sent to Hoham, king of Hebron, Peram, king of Jamoth, Japhia, king of Lachish, and Deba, king of Eglon, saying, Nimuzamu ke munsange muntabari, tuneshe abagibeyon, kukoba sezranye amahoro na yosuwa na abisrael. Muribuka, bafu ye muna amazabo, boba gendar guihishku. Abi menye mwami wa Yerusalem arava ngo dutere abagibeyon. No gutera Yoshua? Oya, dutere bande abagibeyon. Come up to me and help me that we may attack Gibeon. If you remember they had agreed to all gather to attack Israel but Gibeon went on the side. So following suit for he had made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Nuko babami batanu baba amori. Umwami wa Yerusalemu Ui Hebroni, ui Aramuti, ui Lakishi, nuwa Egulon. Batera ni Rahamu, barazamu, kabo ni ngabo zaabo zos. Bagandi kirake igibiyon, barahagereereza. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jamath, the king of Lakesh, and the king of Eglon, gathered together and went up. They and all their armies and camped before Gibeon and made war against it. Aba Gibeon ni wapakangute. 
babona batari mu baterwa na Israeli bagiye guterwa na bene wabo bamwe bari barakoranya inama babona bari hafi kubatera bakizwa na masezerano ngo nuko abagibeyoni batuma kuri Yosua mu ngerero zigira ugari bati ntuhe mukira abagaragu bawo uzamuke ningoka uze utuvune uturengere kuko abami bose babamore bo ku misozi miremire bateraniye hamwe kudutera and the men of Gibeon sent to Joshua at the camp of at Gilgal saying do not forsake your servants come up to us quickly save us and help us for all the kings of the Amorites who dwell in the mountains have gathered together against us nuko yosua hagurukana ningabo zose nabintware bakomaye bose bava igirugari so Joshua ascended from Gilgal he and all the people of war with him and all the mighty men of Vela. Uwiteka bwira Yosua ati ntubatinye nkuko mbakugabije nta muntu wo muri bo uzaguhagarara imbere nawe bikubeho gutyo. And the Lord said to Joshua do not fear them for I have delivered them into your hand may that be unto you as well. Uwiteka batataniriza imbere y'Abisiraeli babichirahe igibeyoni barabatikiza babirukanira mu nzira isamuka ija ibeti horoni barabanesha babageza kuri azeka ni makeda jumping to verse 10 so the lord routed them before israel killed them with a great slaughter at gibeon chased them along the road that goes to beth horon and struck them down as far as azeka and makeda chubinu 11 Nuko bagihunga b'Israeli babanukira ibeti horon uwiteka amanuriki ndagira ngo aya tura yamanura turasaba imana imanura amabuye imanuriki iyarunda gurehe ku mitwe yabande barwanye nyinshi yamabuye barwanye nyinshi yamabuye Umuntu nago uterwa tumutwurandi wibuka kabuye ariko nimo nimo bigirira abantu reka tuzoheze kwa satana turatera satana amabuye akore cyo bantu abari bo tuyatera okay ndakibaza cyo mushaka nicyo dukora and it happened as they fled before Israel that's verse 11 and were on the descent of Beth Horon that the Lord cast down large hailstones from heaven on them tonight God will cast strong hailstones on our enemies nguiteka manura amabuye mani ni yurubura avuye he mwijuru ngo agenda girate abahondagura barinda bagera he kuri azeka nuko bagira gute babaho Baraf abishwe nurubura barutaga aba bisraeli bikishije inkota cast down large hailstones from heaven on them as far as azika and they died there were more who died from the hailstones than the children of israel killed with the sword i'll tell you that we should call on the hailstones to fall. Be ready to call on the hailstones. And the hailstones will break their heads. Should, should they live, should they die? And should they live and repent or should they just die from the hailstones? I, respond, respond because the consequences should they die? <laughs> This is a congregation of angry people who want the enemies dead. Do you know what the problem is? You might call the hailstone on your neighbor and your neighbor will call the hailstone on you. So be very careful with this prayer. And I still want to have you in the congregation. So should the hailstones go to our enemies who are not here? Even those who are here. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 12. 
This is real. It's not a joke. When we go into spiritual warfare, I will lead you in prayer. When, when I call for the hailstones, they will come. What I'm telling you is real. So let me advise you. Let's not kill people. Let's not kill people, please. Let's attack the spirits in them. Jealousy, gossip, hatred, drunkenness. Let's, let's attack the spirits, not the people. Yeah? Thank you. But we were about to kill people. We were to start burying people tomorrow. Because spiritual issues and divine things are real and it works. Harumu mama wigeza kuza na gachi yemo turachari kuku we are still on verse 11, but I've remembered a story. There is a lady who came. And this lady had been hurt. She got saved. And the husband wasn't happy with it. The husband tortured her as much as possible. This woman was not used to problems. So she told me, is this what comes with salvation? Because this is not what I signed up for. But the husband worked with some secret, society. secret societies. But the wife was unaware of her husband's involvement. When she got saved, because to get saved, we were not very close. They were very rich. They lived in their own compound. God showed a vision of them in their room. But I saw the wife mostly. God asked me to go and visit them. In the morning, I went to their house. When I told her about Jesus, she said, no, no, just leave that. But I told her, Jesus told me everything that happened in your house last night. Then she became curious. I told her three things. She said, let's go and sit in the kitchen. I want to hear more. So, I'll not give details. She got saved. It was an elderly couple, but the torture that the man made the wife go through, it was unbelievable. But because this woman had personally seen Jesus and experienced miracles, she refused to give up. One day she came and she told me, please, I am tired. If God would kill me or kill him, but I'm tired, I'm very tired. When she said this, it, it struck a nerve. I told her, please fear not. Sit. I went to the corner. I knelt. I said, God, save, deliver this woman. Then I heard a voice telling me, go and ask her to choose in three things. 
When she goes back home, she will find the husband dead. As I speak, the angel will go and strike the husband and he will die. That's one. Two. This woman, I will set her free and she will die. Because she asked for it. But it will not happen today. It will be in 21 days to come. Or the third choice. Or she will be persevering. <laughs> she will be persevering until I strike the husband with a disease. He will be very sick for a long time. Okay. Then he will receive Jesus and then he will die. So Just she gets to choose. Would you choose? Ichambere, One, would the husband die right away? Okay. Number two, should this woman die? Number three, can she be patient until the husband receives Christ? Okay. I was in the corner praying and someone touched my shoulder and told this to me. When I turned, I didn't see the person who was talking to me. I went to the woman. I told her, I have been told three things. You will choose one. One. And she said, why would God test me? Can't he do what he has to do? I said, no, no, no. no. You came no, saying, he could die or I could die. And God has given you those choices. Where are you just joking? I said, it struck a nerve when you told that to me. But Okay. So she started doing the math. If he dies now, what will I do with the children? No, no, I'm going to go in by the bus. As a fatigue, King and a good day, hang and eat it. I want to go. So she said, Ask God for me. How long will he be sick? How long do I have to persevere? As she was speaking. I had a voice saying that he will be sick for three years. He will, he will leave for three years. Three? Three years? That's a long time <laughs> to live in that fire for three years. That's a long time. I told her, do not worry, let me help you. Because God has said he will get saved. Let's, let's forbear with the suffering. Because in heaven, you will receive his crown. I mentored this woman. She said, I will get a crown for being patient. <laughs> she said, Mary, mother of God, how will I get a crown because of this patience? She cried. I told her, do not worry. And that's what happened. When I was in Kenya, after three years, the man got sick he went, she went to an Indian shop and called me because there were no phones then. Then she called me. I was in Nairobi. I went to, to the phone booth and we talked. <laughs> and she said, my husband is sick. Is it what you told me? Is it happening now? I, I asked her, when was the time that I told you the prophecy? 
was in the 90s. 93, 94. And she said it was today. Today was the day the three years started counting. Now it's been three years. After three years, the man was never sick. He was a doctor. He cried out. He felt a, a sharp pain. Went to the hospital. When he got to the hospital, he told the wife, Get for me a servant of God who is intellectual, who is educated. He had studied in Russia. He didn't believe in God. He was a Rwandan. Get me someone. Get me someone. Get me someone who is intelligent in the issues, things of Gitkwaza. You know that reference started a long time ago. This man loved me so much, I would visit them and he would smoke his pipe. And then look at me and say, how can a noble young man like you do these things of Congolese? How? how? He would get my hands and press them. You're a young man. He never understood me. He told me the history of Rwanda. And he told me the history of Rwanda, how it is religion that sent people away. And if you didn't have the spirit of God, you would be confused. I would be overwhelmed by the amount of information he would give me. Shortly, he said, bring someone. She brought a doctor who was a believer. And and when he came, they recognized each other. He repented all his sins. He repented and spoke his sins. All the things in the secret societies that he was involved in. All of it. Told her all the secrets. And then told her, I want Jesus. She, She led him to Christ. And he led him to Christ and then he called for his wife. And he said, I will not say much. I have told everything to the doctor, but I want you to forgive me for torturing you. He repented. He never spoke again. And then he passed away. So, did the woman make the right choice? That's why I told you when we call for hailstones, be careful. Should they change or should they die? They never change, so the hailstones should break them. Should they die? Some of you have already called the hailstones in your hearts. It's okay. Hailstones on their mothers in law. Hailstones to their aunties. Oh. 
Oya. No. We will attack the demons that influence them. I know without doubt. In this church, if we prayed for someone to die, it would not take three minutes. But let's not do that. We will pray for them to get saved. Amen. Amen. There are some who are like Putin who don't get saved. There are two people who burn Jeanette this house na, down. Na they told they are like John in Samaria they told Jesus burn this whole town down no hypocrisy let's just strike them there is mercy from God. Let me tell you the truth. There is another time God gave me a choice. Just like that. I said, no God, no. I will not choose. God was telling me God, God told me God told me instead of seeing you sad I will kill the people who make you sad and I said God no I'm going to be happy and to be honest, I had to find joy and forgot what made me sad. Because the things that hurt you hurt him. When someone hurts you, they should know that they are hurting God. And when you hurt someone, you should know that you are hurting God. Let's go to verse 12. Umusu wite kaga bije wa bisira yeraba amori niki chabai. Yosua abgiriru wite kimbere ya bisira yerati. Yabgi yiki. Zuba hagarara kuri gibeyon. Nawe kwezi hagarara mugikombe chokuri ayalon. Izuba li herako li hagarara. Nukwezi kugumaho kuri. Bigezaho ubwo bwoko bwamariye guhora inzigo ababisha babo mbese icyo ticyanditswe mu gitabo cyayashari izuba riguma mu ijuru hagati ritinda kurenga rimara nko munsi wose kandi na munsi wahwanye nuwo muya ubanjirije cyangwa muya ukuriki ubwo witeka yumva gumuntu kuko witeka ari we warwanye abisirayeli Mm. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand still over Gibeon and moon in the valley of Ijalon. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped till the people had revenge upon their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and did not hasten to go down for about a whole day. And there has been no day like that before it or after it that the Lord heeded the voice of a man for the Lord fought for Israel. Then Joshua returned and all Israel with him to the camp at Gilgal. This Joshua that you see had a problem, a great problem. 
How shall we live with the Gibeonites? Of the house of the Hivites, neighbors to the Amorites. We are now in a covenant with them. We have children together. We are neighbors. They know our lives. They are in our projects. They are in our plans. They are in our dreams. We have shared our dreams with them. We live with them in the same cell. In the same office. These people, what will happen? We live with them. We are in covenant with them. We share food with them. We buy from them. We do business with them. The Gibeonites. They are in our lives. They are like sugar in tea. We have been mixed together. We have no power to send them away. So when they called the him and said, come and fight us, the five kings were there. The Bible says that day he fought and so that in his time he would deliver of the Gibeonites from their lives. He had to stop the son of a Gibeon. Yes, Praise Jesus. He said, Son, stand still. Of a Gibeon. In the book of Malachi, the Bible says Amen. that I will bring for you the son of righteousness with healing in its wings. In other words, yes. he called Jesus the son of righteousness to so stand over the work of the Gibeon. Come that we will not be in stand of them. the son of righteousness he will show where the darkness is he shows where there is weakness and there is weakness he stands over Gibeon he stands over Gibeon he stands over Gibeon yeah hallelujah you will not send away those people but the sun will show you the darkness in them. Where there is sun there is righteousness. Where there is sun there is sight. Where there is sun there is manifestation of the truth. The sun stood still of a Gibeon and there was deliverance. Every time the Israelites will live with the Gibeonites they will walk in the light of God. They will walk in the righteousness of God. The people you live with they will fear you for no other reason besides righteousness. If you are righteous, there will be a son over them. There is no other time that God took heed of the voice of man like that day. Then they destroyed all their enemies. When they reached the evening, the sun came back again. And then it was daytime, and they chased them. Those who survived the hailstones would be struck by the sword. It was the day of the Lord fighting for the enemy. God will take vengeance for you. Those who survived the hailstones will not survive the sword. Because there is the sun of righteousness over your head. God is going to open your eyes. You will discern the wicked in their hearts. You, you will discern the wickedness and love in their hearts. Because the sun of righteousness is over them. Greater than projectors and lighters. It enlightens. It enlightens. 
inhabitants and shows them the plans they have for Imana you. Ya God has given them over to Tuzo you. You will not fear them no more because you have known them. God is bringing them before you and exposing their weaknesses before you. You will not fear them again. We fear people because we do not know them. But the moment you know their weaknesses, you will not fear them. You will not fear we are praying for the sun to come over the heads of, the, of your enemies that you may know them and you cause them to tremble and revenge until the end amen 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 praise the lord the only thing that helped the Israelites in the time of Joshua was the sun. When time came, there came the time of Saul. Saul didn't stop the sun. He started killing the Gibeonites. The ones that Joshua fought and he, he lived with them in the righteousness of God, in the wisdom of God. There is nothing as good as telling someone, I love you. But the things that we are planning my faith and beliefs do not allow me. Do you know what you've done? You have shed the sun on them. It shocks them. And it's uncomfortable. And this is the issue with them. How come they know this? This is what you tell them. You will not hear of this anywhere else. Because they have become vulnerable. You know? Do not, do not, you tell them, do not worry, I will not expose you. But they have become vulnerable before you. The problem we have is that the reason we are the, the, the main issue is that we tell them these things, the sun shines upon them, but we keep fearing them. But we are meant to tell them, do not worry, I will not expose you, I will keep your secret, but my faith, my belief does not allow me to do this. And when you promise, do not talk about it. Bury it in your soul. Because they always worry. Ask your friends to hear if you know. Do you work? Do you work with that man? But you know. Then you, you say something similar to what you know. No, they don't know. They don't know. Even people who are wrongdoers, they want people who keep their secrets. Do not compromise your beliefs mm -mm. and your faith. Mm -mm. No. Because faith comes to us after so much work and effort. So it's also easy to lose the faith. One, One of the reasons why people lose faith, it is fear. But do not worry. Every time you stand in the truth, God fights for you. 
Amen. Amen. May the sun of righteousness come upon your enemies not to kill them but for you to know them, for them to be exposed and for you to overcome. We are going to fight the five kings. What happened to the five kings? Are we still together? We're still in Joshua 10, 16. But these but these five kings had fled and hidden themselves in a cave at Makeda. And it was told Joshua saying, these five kings have been found in the cave at Makeda. We will chase until we find the source of the problem. The five so Joshua said the people so Joshua said, roll large stones against the mouth of the cave and set men by it to guard them. And do not stay there yourselves, but pursue your enemies and attack their rear guard. Do not allow them to enter their cities, for the Lord your God has delivered them into your hand. Mm. Then it happened when Joshua and the children of Israel made an end of slaying them with a great slaughter till they had finished that those who escaped entered fortified cities. 21. Mm. And all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Makeda in peace. No one moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. No one dead. That the Israelites, you couldn't, you couldn't afford. The remnants, the remnants. They would say, let's be quiet. You could not talk about the Israelites from that day. And someone would say, is, and then go silent. They couldn't. I didn't, I will not hear what you want to say about Israel. They had been slain. Your enemies who always talk about you like the Philistines did. May this day be the 40th day where God will come and do this in your lives. God, do this in the lives of your children. When they had all returned to Gilgal, Joshua Joshua said, Then 
22. Then Joshua then Joshua said, open the mouth of the cave and bring out those five kings to me from the cave. And they did so and brought out those five kings to him from the cave. Then Joshua said, Hehehe. <laughs> So, so it was when they brought out those kings to Joshua that Joshua called out for all the men of Israel and said to the captains of the men of war who went with him, come near, put your feet on the necks of these kings. And the scripture said that he would trample our enemies under our feet. Baba kanda gira nyimpuhwe. Bari mo vi pi muruko eto se. And bari mo bambara la se. Kuma josi ago. Bagira kaguta. Imaginary we ba bwi umwanzi bakume bakumere na bakamuza na garamye ni josi ngo kanda gira. Tutakanyaga aduileo. And they drew near and put their feet in their necks. Were they trying shoe sizes? Were they trying to tie their shoelaces? Or they were told to stand on the necks of the enemy? When they are going to step over the necks of the enemies, they were looking for the men who had big feet. May God increase the size of your foot so that you will have the strength to stand over the necks of the enemies. God told Joshua, wherever you stand, I'll give you the land. No, Today we are not fighting with any other weapon. We are fighting with our feet. God told Joshua that wherever you will step, I'll give you. He had to expand his feet so that wherever he would step, he would possess the land. And so will that apply to us. The word king in Hebrew, they call it malech. And fit, <laughs> fit or foot. It has the root word lech. Who is the king? The king is where he steps. The king has a relationship to the foot. Kings are laid down on the floor and then they will step over their necks. We will step over the enemy because they have stepped over you for a long time. When you want to rise up, it's like someone stepped over your sides the whole night. Who is this? It's the five kings. Then you will have back problems when you rise up. We have young men in their 20s who have brought back problems as men in their 70s. Do you always have a migraine every day? Because you have been stepped on. I, had a I have a chest problem. 
Yes, they stepped over your chest no, in the no night. Man, now God has changed things. He has brought those who would step over you. Will you be merciful? May God give you victory. Okay, let's go. They reached where they are and they stood on their necks. Yesu abwira aba arababwira ati abwira abantu ngo ndi mutinye kandi ntimukuku mutima mube indwari kuko uwiteka azagira ati urabona bari babakandege ku majosi ngo azagira ati abandi ababisha banyu bose muzagira gute muzarwana Then Joshua said to them, Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage. For thus the Lord will do to all your enemies against whom you fight. And afterward, Joshua struck them and killed them and hung them on the five trees and were hanging until evening. And everyone would pass and say, are these the kings? Are these the kings we're afraid of? May God do the same to your enemies. Muri bwa buvumo bare bagize gute bari bishemo ku muryango wabwo bahasibishike amabuye manini birinda bigeza ryari byari abanzi bawe urabakandagira ku mitwe ubamanike hejuru ubamanure ubashire mu cyobo ubashire hamabuye kuzageza na bugingo nabana we bazavuka nabo bazatsinda Kugeza na bugingo nu nabuzukuru bazaba bazaba tsinda kugeza na bugingo ijambo na bugingo nu buno kuvuga ngo iteka ryose So it was at the time of the going down of the sun that Joshua commanded and they took them down from the trees cast them into the cave where they had been hidden and laid large stones against the cave's mouth which remains until this very day may this happen to you and all your descendants to the very day Okay I'm going to engage in spiritual warfare with you and you will overcome. Please do not worry. You will attack demons. They will not attack you. Just organize. Organize where you will send the hailstones. And the hailstones will fall. Because <laughs> if there are some that no, need corrections the people who need correction you can send them less stones it's allowed those who need to get saved we will strike their hearts and they will come to Christ but let's bind the spirits the five spirits the five kings. We will trample over them, we will hang them, and we will put them in the cave. Please stand. Amen. Today is a big day. Stretch, stretch, because you are about to engage in warfare. Move your feet a little bit. You can even take off your shoes if you want. It's clean. You can take off your shoes if you want. Because we will step on their necks for real. Praise Jesus. The Gibeonites. We will take their time as well. But for now, it's for the five kings. Those who stop us from moving forward. You would have achieved so much. And you know yourself. You know your capacity. You know the intellect and wisdom God has given you. 
But you haven't reached far. Because the five kings stopped you on the way. And they fought you Bari on the way. With many people. The battle is for two people. You and God. God will send storms. And you will use the two-edged sword. Those who survive the hailstones. Those who survive the hailstones, you will attack them with the sword. Let's take the sword in our hands. A two-edged sword. A two-edged sword. Are you ready for the warfare? There are some who are still merciful. Are you merciful? No, no, no. We will not show mercy to those who have broken our lives. We don't advance. We are not promoted at work. People slander our names. It's hunger. It's problems. It's jealousy. They accuse us. They lie against us. So many things they do. So, hit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Keep doing it. I'll call for the hailstone. And keep hitting. Strike. I call for hailstone. Manuka. To come. Manuka. 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 Manini Yurubura, Hellstorm, from heaven, Bahonda Gure, strike them, 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 Avachite Kichumu, the remnants, Ingota Uiteka, the sword of the Lord, Ingota Uiteka, the sword of the Lord, the demon of Shari, the demon of Chelsea, the demon of Shari. Jealousy. We strike you with hellstone. The sword. In the name of Jesus. Be struck. Jealousy. Be struck. Disease. Be struck. Poverty. Be struck. Pain. Be struck. One word away. Kubitwa. Wabuhum you way. Blindness. Kubitwa. Wabibas away. Problems. Kubitwa. Amabuya manini. We call for health. Amabuya manini. Big health. Namanuke. Come Come 
Kurubura. Nigu Honda Gure. Let them break you. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To get Gua Magarisu and Yokira Nuka. Rize mu muzima bwa bagibioni tubana nabo tugenda nabo dukorana nabo twirwana nabo reka dusaba imana imana uri hagarika izuba ku muzima bwabo izuba yihagarare ku bitwe yabo tubabone tubamenye muri uyu mwana We are going to call on the son of righteousness to come upon the heads of the Gibeonites that it may expose them that we may see them for who they are for that we may know and discern how to live with them Aba Gibeoni bakwisha mu giye kirekire Imana igiye kuba kwereka muri uyu mwana The Gibeonites that have hidden in your life are about to be exposed right Aba Gibeoni bakumesha giye kirekire Imana igiye kwereka ni kinyoma cyawo The Gibeonites that have lied to you for a long time God is going to expose their lies Zuba Son Hagarara kuri Gibeon Come upon Gibeon Zuba Son Hagarara kuri Gibeon Come upon Gibeon Zuba Hagara kuri Gibeon Come upon Gibeon Zuba Hagara kuri Gibeon Come upon Gibeon Hallelujah Hallelujah Ibigambi ababisha bawe ni garagare Abakugambanira nibamenyekane Abakubesheye nibagaragare Hey Hallelujah In yarya nizigaragare Hypocrites be exposed Ababeshi nibagaragare May the liars be exposed Abantu ubana nabo ariko bakuryarya kuva uyu mwanyi zuba ari garagaye Bagiye kugaragara The people the people who you live with and they are hypocrites may the sun expose them right now Uyu mwanyi right now Abari mu bakuyobza bashaka gukwiba amafaranga yawe kugira ngo bayarye bakubesha ngo ari umushinga nibagaragare those who want to lie to you, who want to misguide you and take your money, saying it's a project, let them be exposed. Those who are lying to you, that they are advising you, yet they want you to fall in the pit, may they be exposed right now. Abihisha inyuma ya Bibiliya bashaka gukubesha bashaka kugucurika nibagaragare Those those who are hiding behind the Bible and they are lying to you they want to kill your life let them be exposed Abasa babesha ngo ni inshuti z'inshuti yawe nyamara arabansi bawe nibagaragare Those who come lying to you that they are friends of your friend let them be exposed Imana ni garagaza bishwe. May God expose what is hidden. Biri imbere yawe kugushira mukaga nibigaragare byose. Everything that is hidden to destroy your life, let it be exposed. Imana iravuze ngo. God is saying. Uhere uyu mwana. From right now. Ugiye kubibona. You are going to see it. Ugiye kubibona. You are going to see it. Ugiye kugaragara. You are going to see it. Ugiye kumenyekana. It's going to be known. Uzabibona. You will see you will see from today next week next month you will see it with your eyes you will be surprised you will ask yourself is this true yes the sun is over Gibeon hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. The sun is over Gibeon. The sun is over Gibeon. The sun is over Gibeon. The hypocrites. Those who are cunning, you are about to see them.
God. Twese ndi yaduhaye intwaro yo impano yo kurobanura imyuka ariko yaduhaye izuba hejuru y'Gibeon. We haven't all been given the gift of discernment, but God has given us the son of Gibeon to expose people. Hey! Hallelujah. Twese all of us. Ituvishiriza izuba. He gives the sun to all of us. Twese ndi dufite iyo mpano. We don't have the gift of discernment, but Dieu va exposer. Imana ije kugaragaza abantu. Uva Listen. Your life was destroyed in their hands. And you never recognized it. But this is God has raised the son of a Gibeon. Hallelujah! You will know them by yourself. No one will tell you. You will catch them yourself. You have wandered for a long time in the hands of these people. They are your so-called friends. They call themselves Jews, yet they are in the synagogue of Satan. Your brothers and sisters, yet they are not your brothers and sisters. That they are your siblings, but they are not. They have slowed down your whole life these years. Let me say this. Niba ni numugabo wawe, imani mushira hagaragara. Niba ni numugore wawe, imani mushira hagaragara. Umuntu wese wadindije ubuzima bwawe, imani mushira hagaragara. Listen, listen. If it's your wife, if it is your husband, may God expose them. Umuntu wese wadindije ubuzima bwawe. Everyone who has delayed Imana ni mushira hagaragara umumenye. May God expose them to you that you may know them. Ugomba kubana nuzi. You need to live with people that you know. Igiye cyo kubana n'indyarya kirarangiye. The time to live with hypocrites has come to an end. Hallelujah. If it is your child being used, let them be exposed. If it is your daughter being used, let them be exposed. If it is your aunt, let her be exposed. If it is your uncle, let him be exposed. As I speak, it is true. Faithful. It is true. Hallelujah! Hey! Hallelujah! Igi ekini ni washa ki igi subiza o kitari. Igi subiza o kiri muri ba abandi ba zizu buzima bugawe. Kani ba kwe shangoni chuti zawe. Uye mugorowa imani ba kambu ye. You have looked for the solution in the wrong place for a long time. The solution of your life was in the hands of your so-called friends. And now God has snatched them away from your life. God has snatched them away from your life. Their garment has fallen off. Bavugi shakan wakabi mbuwe. Arikumiti maya barubu gome. They speak with kindness on their lips, but their hearts are full of wickedness. Because you were not born with wickedness, you trust what they tell you. Because you didn't grow in a crafty household, you trust what they tell you. But God has said, I am exposing them. I am exposing them. You will not cry again. And I will call hailstones upon them. 
stones upon them that they will pay the years they have used uzi uzi kuhabwa stade yo kwirukamo utakigira umugongo wo kwiruka do you know imyaka yose ukira umuje nushobora kwiruka barakuzubaje baragucurika barako none stade iri imbere yawe takagongo gifite Imani giye kwivanja batakaje imyaka yawe batakaje ibihe byawe Imani giye kwivanja yeah! Do you know being given a stadium to run but you are old with a broken back but God is saying that the time of these people who have wasted your life has come to your, their end and you will run in the stadium Someone. Someone wrote. Someone wrote about me, and then the next day they lost their mind. There is a newspaper in which they wrote about me. And then, when he started fighting with spirits, he sent for someone to come and see me that this person would come and ask for forgiveness from me. Every time, things would strangle him in the night. When they strangled him in the night, he would see someone telling him, you lied against someone who is innocent. It was in the news, it was everywhere. So he sent for someone to see me. This person came to see me and told me I've come to see you on the behalf of such and such a person to ask for forgiveness. I told him I have forgiven you but you offended me in a newspaper. How will I forgive you in secret? Yet you, will you write about it in the newspaper that I have forgiven you? Will we write that you came to ask for forgiveness? That no, you see, pastor, you know, godly people forgive. I said, he wanted forgiveness. Okay. I forgive him but from today I have shut down his newspaper. This person laughed. You have forgiven him? I said I have forgiven him. But because he doesn't want to make it a public apology I have closed his newspaper. This person went home. They laughed about it. After three days, they shut down the newspaper. The owner of the newspaper fled the country. I don't know if he's alive. Is he still alive? Let me tell you. God, God is going to expose God is going to expose all the people who hurt you. Ubuzima bwawe bugeza waradindijwe kubera umuntu. Your life is here. This is the life you live because of someone. Umuntu arakubabaza bigeza ha. Someone has broken your no. life. You have reached your end and this is when they are confessing. What are you going to do with this confession at this stage? But fear not. We have a God who stops the days and the nights Amen. Amen. Imisi yejo yashize imana ikayigarura izuba rigagarara ukwezi kugagarara. Yeah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will restore the days past and start and make the sun to be stuck and restore your life. Muzi bintu tuba 
Do you know the things we could have achieved? Things you could have achieved. But because of the slander, you never achieved anything. But I thank God we have a God who stops the sun. He stops the hour. He stops the day. And his works will be Hallelujah. The dreams we had. Some we have left them because the years have passed. Because of someone. Because of someone. Someone. They give you a scholarship and one person refuses to sign on your scholarship. You fail to study. God had purpose for you to go and study abroad, but you are still here stuck because of someone. God will show them. You get your house. You bank. You put it as a guarantee in the bank. And you submit. And you, you win. You bring all the documents they want. And when you import things at Majerwa and things get stuck in customs and the bank keeps charging you, they take your house because of one person. You submit everything that you were requested to You do what they require you to do. You fill in the forms. And someone chooses to stop the file. No, this money, they will not get it. They refuse to sign for you to get your check. And the bank loans increase. Bank loans increase. Bank loans increase. The house you built in tears. The bank repossesses it. That person who hurt your life. May the hailstones be upon him or her. Why will God do this? God will do this to show that. He suffers with those who suffer. He cries with those who cry. He suffers with those who suffer. He is the God who rewards. Brethren. Let's do good as long as we live. Let's sign when we can sign. Let's give people their rights if we have the opportunity. Directors, managers. Don't sit in that office as if you're in heaven. Give people's rights. If you do not do it, the hailstones of God will come upon you. Learn to do good. This is the evening of vengeance. Your enemies, God will avenge you. God will avenge you for the enemies. Someone passed by your shop and said, Why do this person have a lot of clients? Went to the office and gave an order that they shut down your shop. 
You fight without knowing who you are fighting. People accuse you more than they accuse Jesus. And you try to find what you did because of a person with a wicked heart. They shut your shop. They shut things. They Until when things became moldy. No. No, 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 no. That's wicked. So tonight, God is avenging the saints. God is avenging the saints. No. 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 Oh, yeah. No. It will not always be like this. This evening, God has brought the sun upon the Gibeonites. This word I tell you is, it is true and it is faithful. God has told me, tell my people. God Tell my people that the wicked among them are going to be exposed. The hypocrites among you are going to be exposed. The wicked hearts among you are going to be exposed. God avenge your people. Avenge our people going through problems. Your children going through battles. Your church going through problems. The flock that is heartbroken. Take off the sword of the enemy. Avenge them. Their tears. God has said he's going to avenge their tears. Hey! The Kamba Kana Magato Mereu Konja Quigabeone, Kumusozi Ubeng Hanima, the Kubarek. Let me advise you before we talk of Mount Gibeon. If you have a position to bless people's lives where you can open doors for people and bless their lives, please do it because you will be remembered for it. Some, Some people no. If you can sign on a document and you bless someone's lives, but you keep that file in front of your desk for a whole month and you still come to church on Tuesday, on Thursday, and Sunday, this is the time to change how you work. Do not be a Gibeonite. I, I beg you. If someone sends a file to your office, it's an urgent matter. They know how they are hungry. And the people who are chasing them. When they are chasing their payment. They know the pain behind that payment. But you keep it on your desk. One month. Two months. Because you are the manager. You are the director. What director who does not care for the people. What kind of a director are you if you are wicked. If you know how to do good, solve people's problems quickly. Move. Bless and, move. and see the blessings you will find ahead of you. Some found hailstones, others found blessings. Do not go to an office and become greater than the person who appointed you to that office. 
Someone gets appointed to the cabinet and then they become more powerful than the president. Someone gets appointed to the cabinet and then they become more powerful than the president himself. Someone gets appointed to the cabinet and then they become more powerful than the president himself. We brought food one time. Let me share this story. Take a seat. Take a seat. I know the people I'm talking about, you will recognize them, but hailstones have come in the house. So let me just share this. Brethren, one day, that day I was hurt. We brought food. Conflicts. 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 We brought, we brought food for people who had fled refugees who were in Kirehe. They had children, women who needed food. And we brought food from Kellogg's. We had gotten it from the Ministry of Samrol and others. So I made calls. I moved to see that the food would be delivered to these people. The food came. Many containers. Uh, they told me that for this to be released, they have to meet the standards. I went to the board in charge of the standards. I went and I showed them all the documents. They told me, wait. What were they trying to do? For it to be in customs for six months and be close to expire. After five months, I had to go and see a certain minister, told him the situation, and he couldn't believe it. Should they exonerate you? you? So, because this is support to help people. I went to see the leader of the standards board. I don't know if I had a problem with him. Some Christians here asked for an appointment for me to meet him. When I reached before him, he sat down as a doctor from Canada and looked at me from the top to the bottom. Despised me greatly. I laughed. I saw a sinner despise a righteous. Then I said, I have a case here. Food has been in customs for so long. And it's about to expire. Can you please save me? Try this. Test this in your labs, please. But sign this off. It's about to expire. If it expires, I will have problems. And this is what he said. I know you talk to powerful people if you want, call even the president of the republic. Excuse me. I said, excuse me? President. The president of the republic? This is your duty, your responsibility. It has nothing to do with the president. And he said, I know you are connected to powerful people, people like Rick Warren and others, but tomorrow the TV will come, newspapers, media houses will be here. They will report how you will take this and go and burn it because it will be near expiration. It will not live here. You want to help people and someone is a stumbling block. 
laughed. I said, it's okay, doctor, but please help us. We still have a month before it expires. This food can feed people. And this man said, I want to tell you. Rwandans do not need the poison you bring from America. Do you hear me? I said, I didn't bring poison. And test if it's poisonous, then accuse me. Said, I ask you to leave my office. I said, okay. I told him, you will leave this office going to jail. That's what I told him. He took off his glasses you were arrogant. And told me, I said, no. You will leave this office. The God I serve, you will go to jail after this office. Then I left his office. When I reached outside, I said, a, a, Christian, a Christian came and told me, Pastor, forgive us. I said, no, 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 no. Your prisoner will face it rough and you'll feed them in jail. Next day, newspapers wrote the, with a cartoon that I had poison to kill Rwandans. They asked Zion to pay for the transport of the trucks that were, that were going to take the food to those people and they burnt it. Don't you remember that cartoon? It's been a while. I, it was, I had a carton of poison. I let it slide. Then after some time when I was abroad, someone called me and told me that that man is in pink uniform, he's in jail. I told him, are you surprised? I told him, how can you be surprised? That day when I spoke it, the process began. I called heaven. I didn't call anyone. Americans wrote to me, give us pictures that you gave people food. What would I say? What would I say? We tried to get food and we went to Kirehe from contributions here in church and clothes uh, and food that the church had bought. I took to Kirehe and I took the pictures and sent me. But the Americans read it in the newspaper because that article was written in English. One of them called me. The leader. Said Paul. What we read in the news, is it true? I said what? Some, sometimes you want to cover up, you know, not to embarrass people. Sometimes you cover and God will expose. This man, when they told me he was in jail, I said, God, may he find salvation in prison. I told them the truth of what happened. They had even given us a lot of sacks of rice which we had sent to Byumba and Kiziba. And as and other containers of things they wanted to send, they said, we are done with Rwanda. We will not send any more support. 
I went to beg them. They said no. You, you got it for free, but we bought it money. And it was the first quality from Kellogg's. We bought it money. You could have refused and we could have sent it to Tanzania or Mexico. And I had convinced them that if it was to come to Rwanda, we would be exonerated. It would be a smooth process. And they told me, you lied to us. That day, they took me as a liar and that broke my heart. Here there are many people in the army in the civil society, in business, in government offices, you have different positions. Learn to do good. Why can't you have how can someone beg for your signature for months? You don't know the transport they used to come to see you. They keep coming to beg, but you do not sign. Believers, Christians, let's learn to do good. Let's not be Gibeonites. I kept following the news of the prisoner. The, pris- the prisoner could be your brother. I do not care. This is my personal testimony. They told me that the prisoner went back to Canada. Please find out what happened to the prisoner. I haven't found out his exact address, but I will visit him one day. They have... One day... I intend to visit him and tell him that I am the one you despised in your office. I am in my country and you're living abroad. Learn to do good that you may live in the land. Wickedness will, tell, will take us outside our nations. We have hit them with hailstones. You will see it. You will see it in days to come. I do not sleep. I have a migraine. It is the hailstone on them because of their wickedness. Just be quiet. Their reactions, if they react in a certain way, just know it's the hailstone. I do not take joy in the sufferings of people, but I enjoy people's correction. Do we get this? I have such testimonies, and you also have those testimonies. I know you have such testimonies. I know. You have such testimonies. Twinge. I thank God that our church has witnesses. The last of Gibeon. When Solomon became king, to live well with the Gibeonites, he started his new duties with prayers. For you to live with the Gibeonites, those who are in your life, you need to be a person of prayer. When they told him, 
that he is king. He didn't spend the night in the palace. Where did he go to? He went to Gibeon where the sun had stood still. He spent the whole night. And when he fell asleep, God came to him in a dream. Solomon, ask me what you want. I'll give it to you. In Gibeon, though the Gibeonites live there, when you pray, God gives you according to your heart's desire. Solomon said, Give your servant a heart of knowledge, wisdom. A heart that has understanding and knowledge. Give me wisdom. Among the Gibeonites, we need wisdom. On top of prayer and the sun of righteousness, we need wisdom. God is saying, Solomon, you have asked well. I'll give you wisdom equal to the, show, the sand of the shore. You will know so many things. The mistakes that people like Joshua made and they couldn't recognize the Gibeonites. I had given them wisdom. I have given you wisdom to know people well. Another thing. There is wealth. Wealth that the Gibeonites have taken. On top of wisdom. I give you wealth. On top of wisdom. I give you great wealth. On top of wisdom. I give you honor. When Solomon woke up, he was happy. Then the morning he left, when he got to his house, he found two prostitutes, halots, fighting. My child, my child, my child. What happened? They said, no one can judge our case. What happened? One started. We were sleeping. This one had a baby. I had a baby. His child, her child, she slept over her child and the child died, but mine was alive. When she saw that I was sleeping, she came and stole my child and gave me the dead body of her child. That's the working of Gibeon. They take the living things that you have and replace them with the dead. Unless if you have the wisdom of God that can tell the difference from the craftiness of the Gibeonites. He said, you woman, I cannot believe this. She slept over her baby. Now she wants to take my living child. Solomon was coming from the mountain of wisdom to know what was hidden in the hearts of people. We have suffered all these years because we are naive. People lie to you and you believe them. It's unbelievable. You can solve so many problems, so many equations, but people lie to you and you believe them. You're very gullible. Salomon, Solomon said this is a, an easy problem to solve. Bring the sword. Take the leg. Take the leg. They put the, they put the baby down. The mother of the child trembled. Mercy was seen. She said, no, 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 no. Do not kill my baby. Solomon said, let's kill the baby. The other woman said, let's kill the baby. 
And the mother said, no, 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 do not kill my child. Take a leg, take the leg, let them cut the baby in two. Solomon said, the mother of the baby is this woman. Now this one, who has a wicked heart, is a Gibeonite. Let me tell you. There are many people who have come to you, they have lied to you, they have prayed over you, spoken in tongues, prophesied, did this and that, but these are all like the woman who wanted the other child. Till this day, I do not understand. In my mind, how to pray for you. After praying for you, I tell you, give me money. I have failed to understand that concept. That's, that's fake. That's not real. I have God's gift to bless you, then I charge you money. That's the spirit of the Gibeonites. Do not pray for people and then ask them for money. Let them freely give and if they don't, let that also be fine. May God give you the wisdom to recognize people. I pray for the spirit from Mount Gibeon to come upon you. To come upon you. That they may know people. God. Let, let, let me know people because I'm also suffering. I'm very vulnerable. People cry and my heart breaks for them. One day someone came and they were crying and a voice told me, do not believe in the tears. I was almost convinced by the tears. I thought it was the voice of Satan. I fought the voice. Till the point where God told me I'll show you signs. They did something in the office. I said what? And they opened their eyes and became sober. The transition. There was no transition. They came from crying to being sober. <laughs> crying and then came back and said now apostle listen no transition even me who is standing here I, I am a victim of Gibeonites I think that's the same to you why we have ungodly empathy I pray for wisdom. God, let them know. Give them wisdom. Give them wisdom on this mountain of your son. In Gibeon, receive wisdom. 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 Your mind. Your heart. Let it be filled with wisdom that you will know the Gibeonites all the days of your life. Amen. Amen. Listen. Tomorrow in the office start observing people with four eyes, not two. Uh-huh. When people, <laughs> Merci, thank you. Thank you. 
When Aba. people come to you and say, I love you, ask them exactly why they love you. Don't thank them, ask them why they love you. When someone calls you so many times, ask them, why are you calling me so many times? Is there a problem? There are some who love you. There are some who want to ensnare you. And there are others. Eh, yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. How many children are you in the family? They jump to the siblings in the family. We are six. Where does the firstborn live? They live in Uganda. And the brother? In Kampala. Another one is in Belgium. How many sisters are you? You are not in court. Is it an investigation? Restore your mind. Why are you answering personal questions? Let your mind come back to you. Because when you ask them how many siblings they have, they will not tell you. Let me talk about me. Someone called me. I was in America. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Apostle, praise Jesus. Apostle. Are you in America? I said yes. Uh, what documents do you have no, in America? I have these and these documents. I, I felt like I could tell them. Hey, so there are powerful Americans that you are connected to. I started sharing my contact list. How is your wife? Yes. And, uh, and even the three children, we are all fine. I started giving free information. I did this. I am repenting before the church. Because I have received wisdom today. Listen. They asked me so many questions. I gave all the information I could give. Oh, pray for me. Now, this was caressing me. I knelt on my bed and prayed. Prayed, 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 prayed. prayed. Amen. Amen. Apostle, I had forgotten. Yo, this way. When, eh, when you go <laughs> when you travel who buys your air tickets I said sometimes I buy it online sometimes after giving all that information sa habari tamako when we had parted on the call, I had the conference Congo. in Congo. When I reached there, instructions had been given that I shouldn't have that conference. That I wasn't even meant to land on their airport and to go with people. And I have a big group of people I'm taking to this conference in Congo. They had stopped the airplane. And the aeroplane was stuck at the airport from 9 to 5 p.m. I was paying $1,000 for each hour that it was parked. I said, this is unbelievable. Something is wrong. I called some people. And the people I'm calling are the same people who stopped my conference. Oh, it's not going to so, What happened? And I would share more information. And, and, and they would ask, what do you want to do there? And I would share what we want to do there. Gibeonites began with my life. Hmm. 
mukanya after a short while telefone umuntu umwe cyakora i called someone else nabwire ko wanjanye ku muntu wagarira inzego z'umutekano hano babita ba redoc hani bukavu can you take me to the person in charge of the security organs here in bukavu i need to know what's going on arabo telefone they called them I went. I went with another man who was with me. We entered. And they said, you Rwandan who wants to start a war in Congo, why have you come? I said I do not want to cause a war in Congo. Ambwira ya makuru yose uba muri America ufite abana ba ukiri bibyangombwa yo sanga ari yanshuti wa muntu we byose teleke this privilege this person gave me all the information about my life as i had told the other person who called me when i was in america akenge karagarutse my mind came back to me ari ko ngaba oya I said no. Maybe it is security <laughs> But but I said this. I remembered a few things I had told the other person. No neho And then he said These things you're involved in. You are Rwandan. You have Congolese documents. Turagutwaye muri prise Kinshasa muri Makala. We would have taken you to a, we will take you to a prison in Kinshasa in Makala. Because this is not allowed. I said no. I am Congolese by birth. He said prove it. I said I'm Congolese by birth. I was born here in Uvira. This church Sepak. My father started this church. I I studied university in Kisangani. Where? Kisangani. In Kisangani. Kisangani. And he said I'm also from Kisangani. I said no, let me introduce myself. He looked at me and said he said are you ya Paul? as they used to call me back then he said you don't know my brother he told me his brother he was my friend when they lived by the post in a place called Oflev no said no go no said no he moved in his office he said is it yapole he said listen come and i'll show you in the computer all the people who reported you iki yasuno ya manutse kuba gabaro yifata mu mutwe he touched his head tiniwe warupfu said you were about to be killed tino he said no Come and read. Who? My friends, people I know. The same person who asked all the information from me. And all other people who are branched from them. Then I read the names. I said, even this one. Said, I'll show you even their text messages. I said, stop, 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 stop. He said He knelt down and said pray for me Anzani yibazo bafite byose muri plane de ruzizi muri sud kivu ati dusengere dore dufite ibi nibi nibi ni distiruzura ndamusengera arangije bati ya pole fite umwana hano wa mumfashe akaja kwiga vrema he presented all the challenges and problems they had. I prayed for them. Then he said, Yapole, I have a child who wants to go and study abroad. Help, help us. When time comes, I will tell you so many things. Gibeonites. 
The next day, he called the governor and said, no. He's one of us. He's of us. In the next morning, they asked me to go through the governor's office. I went to the governor's office with the brother. When we reached the governor's office, I met the governor somewhere. There is a place in an inauguration of the president somewhere. I had been invited. And, and I sat with them and people from Congo. We knew each other. When the governor saw me, he said, hey, is it you? They wanted to kill you. Unbelievable. It's you. Really? These people are wicked. Is it you? Said, listen. They called the vice governor. Is this the one they say? <laughs> he said let's go and first eat he told the vice governor to go with me and everything I would need they would give then the vice governor said let's go and eat first he showed me he showed me all the messages that they had written and he told me but besides this go and have your conference I will protect you all the people you need will be there to assist you I went to the airport there, were more, there was a motor you know how they know how to exactly ping, 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 ping. <laughs> there was a motorcade with me when the sun has come upon you when the wisdom of God comes in your mind you know people for who they are beloved let me tell you this people what, what will we do? They are our relatives. They are people we went to school with. They are people we know. Besides the wisdom of God, we cannot hide from them. Man. God. Give us wisdom. Give us wisdom. I conclude by telling you. I love you. Let's stand up and pray. Namandangara Yongu Gonye Sangure Yeu Kovangie. Oh,
Aleluya Kuku bifuga Nuruko Nisanze Nisanze Praise you for all the days of their lives. May your peace, your love, in communion with the Holy Spirit, go with them in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Go with Jesus. Nisanze, muru, kundor guawe. Oh, no, God. 